Hey, what's up guys, Matt here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get iOS 7 beta on your phone today. Normally you have to be a registered developer through Apple to get the betas of the new iOS, but there are some ways around it, and that's what this video is about. Now before we get into it, I have to warn you, this is a beta and you have to install at your own risk. There are bugs, it's not perfect, so if you install it and something goes wrong, that's all on you, nothing on me. Now with that out of the way, let's get into it. The website you need to go to is called iosbetas.com. This is a website that registers your UDID, which is a specific code to your device that Apple looks for when you're trying to install something. There are two packages you can get, you can choose whichever one you'd like, and unfortunately it's not free, although it's not very expensive, but I should mention that I'm not affiliated with this website in any way, so I get no money from this, but I do know the people behind this and they are legit, so you have nothing to worry about. So once you're ready, all you need is your UDID. Now to get this, go into iTunes and plug in your device. Then under the summary tab, look for where it says serial number. Once you find that, click it and your UDID will appear. Now this is a long number and you definitely don't want to mess it up, so right click and hit copy UDID. Then go over to iOS betas and enter it into the field. Once you're registered, it's going to take a little bit of time. There's a ton of people trying to do this right now and they're pretty busy. But once you're registered, they're going to send you an email with all the instructions of how to actually install iOS 7. This is going to include the iOS 7 beta itself and the instructions on how to install it. It's very simple. Just follow those and you should be good to go. So that's how you can install iOS 7 beta on your device today. Again, this is a beta, so install at your own risk. There are definitely some bugs in it and there are some issues that you may just not want to deal with right now. Nonetheless, iOS 7 is pretty awesome, so if you want to give it a try, this is how. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If it did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit subscribe. That would be awesome. Like I said, I'm Matt, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.